who are we kidding? Is there anybody around anymore who really believes the government knows how to prevent, uh, by its present methods, inflation or unemployment? We've had increasing inflation. We've had increasing unemployment, not only in the United well, we, States. We, 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 there must be something radically flawed with the capitalist system which allows uh, these institutional developments. This doesn't alarm me because I'm a socialist. But uh, I, would, uh, I would readily... There uh, must be something radically wrong with the socialist philosophy which allows the, the, the extraordinary, the much worse developments that have occurred wherever there has been any real significant attempt to put a thoroughgoing socialism into practice. Socialism is a word of many meanings. So, so, what has thinking. happened? Over and over again, one claim after another for the kind of socialism, this kind of socialism or that kind of socialism, has turned to ashes. And each time, the uh, answer has come, oh well, it was a f wrong brand of socialism that was adopted, or the wrong people were running it. But you're, you're saying no, argument <laughs> yourself, Governor. No, I'm not. The Federal <laughs> Reserve in 1929 failed to do the right thing. It was the wrong brand of capitalism. It was a wrong brand, absolutely, but what I'm saying is something different. I can at least point to examples in history of systems, of capitalist systems, in which the government had a fairly limited role, not my ideal government, many things do, doing many things I would not want to do. But I'm going to point, point to such examples of long stretches of history. In which have been relatively successful, where the major achievements of humankind, not merely in economics, but in all other areas, have largely arisen. It is very difficult to appoint to any similar you know, examples of where big government has achieved never, such success. But you said before you, the question that keeps haunting me here is how do you, going back to your question of just the monetary regulation, how do you make, and let's assume that you can really, uh, We'll go a step further and we'll say, we'll go all the way with you. Uh, we will install that mechanism. What makes you think that when the storms arise, that, that the people running that me mechanism are not going to misread just as they did in the past? Because I'm going to have, if I had my way, I would have a mechanism which didn't require them to read anything. In other words, simply a, a money formula. And Absolutely. It is cranked out in relation to the GNP yeah, regardless. Right. So the question is, how are you going to keep them tampering with this black box? That you have a thing... I'm not going to have a black box. I'm going to have a very visible system. I've written out it, as you know. No, I've I know. I know. developed the, at great no, length of precise no, you have details of what I would do. It will calculate this, but then there's going to be someone who'll come in, the, the people that you dislike, who'll say, but we could do it a little bit better by doing it this of way course. or that way. Of course. How will you keep them from doing it? Well, in the only way in which you can do it in a democratic society, by establishing both a written and an unwritten, and the unwritten is just as important as a written, an unwritten constitution on the part of the public at large, an acceptance of the view that this is not what people in government ought to be doing. Yeah.